Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable baby bib. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So this is the bib we are going to make and what I really love about this bib is how it will cover the shoulders, it will cover the entire front of the baby. It's got a beautiful little collar on it. It's just a really cute little bib. So for this bib, we are going to be using a size H crochet hook, and we're gonna be using worsted weight cotton yarn. You're gonna need around 175 to 200 yards of yarn for this project. And besides a yarn needle and some scissors, that is all you will need for this project. To start the bib, we will make the collar first. So make a slip knot and insert your hook. And then we are going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. From here, you're just going to work into the second chain from the hook and work a single crochet into that chain and every chain across. There we go. So then for row two through row 52, we are going to chain one, and then we're gonna single crochet across, but in the back loops only. So normally you would insert your hook into this hole and under both of the loops, but to work into the back loops only, we're gonna go down through the center of the stitch in between this V here and out the back. Then you will yarn over and pull up a loop Yarn over and pull through the two loops on the hook to create a single crochet. Now just repeat this in every stitch across. This is going to give us that beautiful ribbed look for the collar. So again, when you reach the end of the row, we are just going to chain one and turn and repeat this row until we have a total of 52 rows. So just single crochet in the back loop across until you have a total of 52 rows. After finishing your 52 rows, we are then going to work along the side of the rows we just worked. We will work one row in the accent color that we are working with, and then we will continue on in the main color. We will make the shoulder area and then extend on later to add more length to the front of the work. So here we are with our 52 rows, and we're gonna work down the side of these rows, working single crochets into the side of each row. To do this, we are going to chain one, and then work a single crochet around the side of each row. So what I like to do is find the actual single crochet, go in between the first and second single crochet of the row, pull up a loop and complete our single crochet. Just make sure you're working around a single crochet for each row. If you mess up, it's not a big deal. The most important thing is that you simply have 52 single crochet when you finish this row. When you reach the end of the row, you can fasten off, leaving yourself a good amount of yarn so that you'll be able to sew up the sides of this piece and complete your collar. So just pull that through and tighten it. You can see how it gives us a nice finished edge that we'll be working into later. I'm gonna bring the first and the last row together. I'll just thread my yarn needle and begin sewing these two rows together. So I'm using something called an invisible stitch, but a whip stitch works really well here as well. I just tend to always use an invisible stitch when sewing. But we're just gonna sew these six stitches together. All right, so I've reached my end and all I'm gonna do is knot these first two yarns together just so it's nice and secure and then I'll weave those in later. 
For the next part of our bib, we are going to be working what they call a yoke, kind of like what they do with a sweater. And don't worry, that sounds scary, but it really isn't. All we're going to be doing is double crocheting and then four points along this row, we are going to be doing an increase. And that's gonna give us more of a square shape and make it lay over the shoulders really nicely. You can see here how it actually will square up and then that will lay over the shoulders and keep the shoulders and the upper arm area clean. So all we're gonna do is go to the last stitch in the row we had just worked along the side of the previous rows. Yarn over with your new yarn color and pull through. Try this one more time. From here, I'm just going to chain two. And just so you know, I do not count my turning chain as a stitch. So do not count it, do not work into the top of it. Just ignore it. We're going to double crochet into the same stitch that we slip stitched to. So we've already worked one double crochet and now you're gonna work an additional six double crochet. So it'll be seven double crochet total before we work our first increase. And then we will go ahead and start making those increases. So I've worked six double crochet here. Into the next stitch, I'm going to work three double crochet all into one stitch. So one, two, and three. And then what I want you to do is grab a contrasting color of yarn, something you'll see. I'm using gold here. And I just want you to mark this center double crochet. This is because for the next several rows, instead of counting, we are just going to be working double crochets until we get to our stitch marker. And then we will work the three double crochet increase into that stitch marker. So you won't have to count and it'll make the next six rows very easy. So now continuing on, we are going to double crochet into the next 10 stitches. So after you completed your 10 double crochet, we are going to work another increase. So three more double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, and three. And again, I am going to mark the center double crochet and that will let us know where to increase during the next row. And when we make our increase during the next row, we will move our stitch marker up again to the center double crochet. After our increase, we are now gonna work 14 double crochet before the next increase. After the 14 stitches, we're going to work our next three double crochet into the next stitch. And again, we will mark the center double crochet. So once that is marked, we will work another 10 double crochet before our next increase. So just continue working along our row, another 10 double crochet. After the 10 double crochet, now we will work our last increase. This should be increase number four. So three double crochet into the next stitch. You will mark your middle stitch one more time. So once that center stitch is marked, now you will just work seven double crochet into the last seven stitches. So just work these last seven stitches. And once they are completed, and you're at the end of the row, you will simply slip stitch to the very first double crochet. We will continue working all in one direction for the rest of the next yoke rows. So here you can look at what we've accomplished so far. Our four corners aren't extremely noticeable yet, but they will be after a while. For your next row, you are gonna chain up two. You will double crochet into each stitch until you reach your stitch marker. 
Where those stitch markers are, you will double crochet three stitches into the same stitch. And again, you will move your stitch marker so it's marking the center stitch. Then just continue around, increase in the next stitch marker, and do that all the way around your project. So here is the second bib row done. I have chained two, double crocheted to the stitch marker, increased, moved up my stitch markers so that they are ready for the next row. So now we've repeated this process again and we have three rows. And you are going to continue doing this until you have a total of seven rows. And here you have it. Here is seven rows completed. Again, we just double crocheted to our stitch markers and increased in our stitch markers. So from here, I'm actually going to fasten off my yarn because we're done increasing the back side of our bib. So just pull that through to tighten it. You're going to fold the bib in half so you can see how it's creating that shoulder section. We're going to take the same color of yarn and make a slip knot. And going to where our stitch marker is, we are going to work a double crochet directly into that stitch marker. So you can slip stitch and chain up if you want, but the way that I like to do that is just to put a slip knot on my hook, yarn over, insert my hook into that center double crochet, yarn over, and pull through two, and pull through two. So that's just a standing double crochet right there. If that's difficult, you can chain, you can slip stitch to that stitch, chain two, and then double crochet into the same stitch. Now we are going to double crochet into each stitch across. And when I say each stitch across, I actually mean we're going to double crochet until we reach our stitch marker because we're only going to be extending this side of the bib. So here we are at the next stitch marker. We're just going to make a double crochet into the same stitch as the stitch marker. You can pull that out. We don't need it anymore. So we've completed that row and now we are going to chain two. We are going to turn and we are going to double crochet in every stitch across. And we are going to continue repeating this row until we have a total of 14 rows that are just worked on this side of the bib. So again, I've reached the end of the second row. You can see how we're extending this side. We will chain two, turn our work, and double crochet into each stitch across. And again, do this until you have a total of 14 rows. So here I've completed all 14 rows. Again, just 14 rows that extend this section here. So there will still be seven rows above it. And now what we're going to do, and this is completely optional, the last two rows are optional, but we are going to chain one. We're going to turn our work so we're working down the side of our rows. And we are going to single crochet into the side of these double crochets. And we are going to work two single crochet into the side of the double crochets. Now you can definitely work around the double crochet. That is completely fine. But I like to work through the center of the double crochet. It's a little harder, but I think it looks a little bit nicer. So simply work two single crochet into the side of each double crochet. Now every other row you'll be working around that turning chain and that's completely fine. You just want to make sure that there is two single crochet for every row. So we have finished working along the side of the rows and now we will continue around the rest of the project but it gets easier because we can work into the top of the rows of the seventh row that we worked in this main color. And we're just going to work until we reach our stitch marker or the center of that increase at the end of the row. So here you can see I've reached that stitch marker. You can see my increase right here. And I'm about to work into that center double crochet. In that double crochet, I'm going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again. That is going to give me a nice neat corner and help square off the backside of our bib. 
So now we're going to single crochet all the way across until we reach that double crochet increase of the previous row. So here I've reached the next increase and again in this one here I'm going to work a single crochet. I'm going to chain two and work another single crochet creating the second back corner. Now I'm going to work a single crochet all the way down this edge here as well as work the two single crochets in the edge of each row all the way to this corner right here. So I've reached the corner. We've already worked one single crochet. I'm going to chain two and then turn and work another single crochet, but this time it's in the top of that same stitch. Okay, now it's real easy. We'll single crochet in this last row that we've worked all the way to the end. And when we reach that end, we will just chain two, one and two, and slip stitch to the very first single crochet. You can definitely stop here, that would be completely fine, but I like to do one more accent row around the entire project, but you can see how simply adding this row cleans up the look of the entire bib. So I've just gone back and I've grabbed my teal color. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through to change colors, and then pull that pink nice and tight. And then I will yarn over to make a chain and continue working in every stitch across the row. So you'll continue single crocheting until you reach that chain two space in the back corner of the bib. Once we've reached that chain two space, we will once again single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the corner. Now we will single crochet in each stitch along this side until we reach our chain two space again. You'll work the corner exactly as we just did, single crochet down the next row, work your corner, and single crochet down the last row until we reach the very end. And I'll show you how to finish up the row. When you reach that last corner, we are going to again work a corner, which is single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the corner, and then slip stitch to our very first single crochet. So now we're ready to fasten off and weave in our ends. Once all your ends are woven in, your bib will be completely done and ready to be used. So this bib will make a wonderful baby shower gift. I know I definitely can't get enough of them in my house because we have a messy little eater. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you as always for watching.